am going to be doing a first impressions video on the CoverGirl Plus Olay Concealer Stick. I picked this up yesterday at CVS and when I saw it, I'm like, I've got to do a first impression video on this because I've been wanting to try a new concealer and it's drugstore and it looked amazing and when I saw the Plus Olay thing I knew it would probably be hydrating and very creamy and stuff and I love concealers like that because my skin is kind of dry or a combination. So, so I'm going to have picture swatches and all that stuff on my blog, up close pictures of my under eyes and my face area so you can really see how it covered and actually see the real results. I feel like pictures before and after pictures actually show how a product really performs. So be sure to check out getglammeduptcom and I hope you guys enjoy this. So as you can see I have not opened this yet so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. I've been so excited to try this out but I was trying to wait until I did this video because I just picked this up yesterday at CVS and I believe it was around seven or eight maybe nine dollars but I saw it at Target for like seven so I think I paid more at CVS than I would have at Target but it is the CoverGirl Olay Concealer Balm and I got mine in the shade 310 Fair because I am pretty light right now plus I like my concealer to be lighter under my eyes and all and this says that it is makeup meets skincare with a moisture locking formula that is flawless in spot coverage the formula glides on smoothly and covers to reduce the appearance of dark circles age spots and redness Smooth glide stick, easy to use, won't clog pores. So I don't have any makeup on other than my eyebrows done so far. So, And as you can see, I do have some dark circles. They're not too bad. The camera's actually showing up actually darker than what they are when I'm looking in the mirror. They're a little bit purple right here, and then I have redness on my chin and a few little leftover acne scars to cover up. So I'm just going to apply it right from the stick, or I think you can also like warm it up on your finger and then apply it. And I didn't want to apply any primer or anything because I wanted to see really how this held up and if it creased. And I also haven't applied any foundation because I feel like that is going to um, take away from the coverage since the foundation has coverage. Plus I use mineral um, foundation and today I'm only going to actually wear just a pressed powder. So I would put my concealer on before anyways. So it definitely feels very lightweight and creamy which I like. And it's blending in really nicely. I can actually zoom you guys in. I'm just putting a little bit on my finger like that and then focusing it right in the inner part where it's very dark. I'm also going to put some on the outer corner. So it seems to be covering really well. You can see the difference. I have a little bit of a shadow from my lights here, but I can definitely see a difference looking into the mirror. Huge difference. I'm trying not to apply too much either because I don't want it to crease unnecessarily on me. And I have a little bit of like a dark freckle or like a sunspot right there. And it's covering it really well actually. Okay, so now that the under eyes are done, it definitely matches my skin very well. So if you have a skin tone similar to me or if your skin is very light, then definitely go for the fairest shade. If you are even lighter than me, you might have a hard time with it matching. But this just blends in perfectly into my skin tone, which I like. Because if I don't want to wear a lot of powder or a foundation, I don't want to have to cover up my concealer. I want it to match my skin perfectly because then I don't have to worry about putting on foundation if I don't want to. So now I'm just going to go around and do some of the acne marks. These are some like leftover scars and I have a little bit of redness. It's blending in very nice and I also like how it's not too creamy so it doesn't just wipe away. And then my chin, I definitely have a lot of redness so. I'm actually going to use my Sigma Precision Round P82 brush, which is the round one, and I'm going to use this to blend it out. And this works, I'm just going to dip a little bit in. This actually works better for covering up leftover acne marks because it really gets into those little dried areas. It just like pushes it into the pores a lot better than your finger does. But I like using my finger around my eyes because it melts it so it blends it in nice and you don't have any excess product that might like settle into fine lines. 
And I normally don't cover every little spot like this, but I'm just trying to test this out. So, kind of using it everywhere there's a mark. So I feel like that covered up really well. The only thing pretty much left on my face that would need correction is a little bit of redness on my cheeks. So I would just apply a pressed powder all over and after I take some pictures then I will definitely do that and then come back when my makeup is done to kind of talk to you about it and let you know what I thought. So this is what it looks like under my eyes. It doesn't look cakey or anything. A lot of times some concealers can look a little bit dry around this area. You can almost get that like almost scaly looking appearance just because the skin under this area is very thin. I don't get this at all because it does have that Ole stuff in it so it's very moisturizing and I love that about it. And then around these areas it covered up really well and you can hardly see like the acne scar showing through it all. You can see it a little bit around the redness on my chin but for that I usually like to go over it with my powder and then go back over it a little bit with the concealer. One thing that I noticed when applying my powder, I can even buff it and it's not wiping away, which is really nice because sometimes with really creamy concealers, even my MAC um, Studio Finish Concealer, I can apply powder and if I buff it too much, it's just going to wipe off. But I feel like with this, it like set or something and it just has not budged, so I like that. I can buff like my bronzer and my blush and stuff over top of it and it's not going to move, which is really nice because it can be frustrating. You do a whole face of makeup and then you go to put on your face products or you want to blend out your blush or something and your concealer just wipes away, even with foundation and powder over top. So that can always be pretty frustrating and I have not noticed that at all with this. But again, I'm not putting on like a full face of makeup up today so it's kind of hard to judge how it would be but I will go ahead and put on blush and bronzer just to show you guys I don't know how it's picking up on camera but I know looking in the mirror I cannot see the acne marks or they don't even look that dark but they always seem to show through makeup and they're not coming through which I really like it looks really good I'm really impressed with this I love the way it looks underneath my eyes and I feel like it covered acne marks great and it hasn't budged it hasn't moved or anything so definitely really like this. I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and then I will check back with you guys later on today to see how it's worn. Make sure it hasn't creased or just rubbed off or anything like that. So right now it is 1.46 and there's a little holly on my phone. Don't you know you stop the guys so it has been about five or six hours or so it is now seven o'clock and last time I checked in, I think it was like one o'clock or so so it's been I guess about six hours now and as you can tell my under eyes area still looks really good my chin is definitely gotten red and for me that always wears off I don't know what it is I think because I sit like this and I talk on the phone and all that stuff and I always like touch my face when I sit which I know is really bad like on the computer and stuff and I'm thinking if I were wearing like my foundation or my mineral foundation or something, it would probably stay on a lot better and the primer too because it would have something to stick to. But that's the only area that I noticed it has started to wear off and I feel like I'm getting a breakout right there. I know I shouldn't be touching it, but um, it feels a little sore like that might be um, starting to be a breakout. So underneath my eyes, there is very minimal creasing. When I actually like pull down my eye, I can see a little bit of... I can probably show you that better in the pictures, but I don't know if you can see it, but when I pull down, there's a little bit of creasing right here, but nothing that is too major. Probably if I had on primer, it would be a little bit better because I do put primer under my eyes as well. And um, I usually have a little bit of that anyways. I don't have oily lids or anything, but just from where it settles like into the little lines right there. But it's nothing too major that can easily be fixed and um, I might not have put enough powder under my eyes. So that's really the only problem. But around the sides of my face, it still looks really good, which that's usually an issue too. It will rub off where my acne marks are, but that is actually still looking really good. But like I said, other than that, I think it looks really good. Just a little bit of minor things throughout the day of wearing. I think if I were wearing this with my full face of makeup, it would probably stay on a little bit better if I've got my primer on and um, more powder and stuff. I use very minimal powder just to kind of set the concealer. But I think it's a really great concealer. Um, I feel like there's not much more to say because the demo and everything pretty much shows it all, how creamy it is and how pigmented it is. And you can see the swatches and stuff on my blog where I'll have um, 
the link to this of where you can buy it and I definitely am going to be repurchasing this. I'm going to continue to use it and you'll probably see it in a favorites for next month or so. It won't be in this month's favorites but definitely probably next month it will be in there and I will give you more in depth of how it worked for me for the entire month and all that so that will be the kind of update. Um, video about it I guess will be in my favorites so make sure you check back next month for that and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys like these first impression videos comment down below if you want me to do more because there's always new drugstore products out there that I want to try out and I'm like I just want to try them so bad so it's hard to sit down and like film before I open them and try them out but I definitely will do that for you guys if you like these if you find them helpful just let me know and like this video if you liked it and don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all very soon Bye everyone. You must be my once in a lifetime. So before the storm.